school watch tonight. Rules about energy drinks and leggings are being enforced at Custer County Schools. Specifically, no energy drinks are allowed and pants with spandex in them can only be worn under certain circumstances. News 5's Colette Bordelon spoke with students on both sides of these issues today. Colette. Whether or not they agree with the rules, the superintendent says the school is just trying to prepare the students for the real world. Anna Barry has been at Custer County Schools her whole life. People want to drink energy drinks, then let them. If people want to drink coffee, then let them. Custer County School recently posted about their ban on energy drinks, along with a rule about no spandex, like leggings or yoga pants without a top that completely covers the derriere. Adolescents will push the envelope. Superintendent Mike McFall says the energy drink ban is health-based for the safety of students' hearts. And we wanted to teach them, you know, a healthy lifestyle. As for the spandex, he says it's in preparation for the future. The military expects uniforms, McDonald's expects uniforms. And so going out into the real world, you know, that's one of the things that they're going to have to just become used to. Still, students have mixed feelings. Girls are more subject to being told what they can and they can't wear. They don't target boys as much as girls are targeted. And I think it's a society thing for the most part. Kaya Huffman and Alexa Elliott agree. I'm in leggings and I don't personally feel like this is like an unmodest outfit. And but. I could get dress coded and then like potentially given detention for what I'm wearing. Alexa would only get dress coded if she took off her denim jacket. Objectifying girls and telling them that they should change what they're doing because boys have a problem with it is not going to help us when we're adults. What you wear to school shouldn't affect your learning process and if that has to deal with us simply covering our butts with a shirt, then I think there should be no issue with that. Anna says it comes down to whether or not the leggings are see-through, which would be too hard to distinguish. We reached out to other school districts about their dress codes. District 20 says they can't imagine ever making rules about yoga pants because they see them so often. District 11's dress code policies don't mention spandex by name, but do say clothes that are too tight aren't acceptable. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. Colette Bordel on News 5.